New Jersey nonprofit is embracing the idea that a picture is worth a thousand words in an effort to call attention to the desperate need for transportation funding in the state. Fast Ones' Catherine Clark explains. Traffic backed up for miles on Route 495 in Weehawken, a bridge barely being held up by wooden beams in Roselle. These are just two of the hundreds of images posted on the New Jersey Alliance for Action's website under its new On the Road in NJ feature. The nonprofit's executive vice president, Jerry Keenan, says the purpose of sharing these photos with the public is to highlight the crumbling condition of New Jersey's infrastructure. The site even allows you to email a photo and message to your county's legislators. What we're trying to do is really um, get the word out and, and, and call on people to spread these photos around and say, look, we're tired of sitting in this. We've had horrible congestion and terrible traffic conditions and road conditions long enough. We need something to be done. The major roadblock to fixing New Jersey's infrastructure issues is a lack of funding. The State Transportation Trust Fund runs out at the end of next June. Legislators have discussed generating revenue by increasing the state's gas tax, but no specific plans have been introduced. With time running out, some drivers are losing their patience. We're one of the largest ports in the world, and why are our roads this bad? While others say it could be worse. There is some, some work that needs to be done, but as you go further out into Pennsylvania and to New York State, and you see where they're really hurting with their roads. You know, a lot of their roads are atrocious. I spoke to an official here at the New Jersey Department of Transportation. He says a lot of progress has been made to improve the state's infrastructure. For example, over the past five years, the number of structurally deficient bridges owned by the DOT have decreased from 320 to 292. The bridges are safe. Um, that's important for people to know that, that they are safe. Um, if we do have problems, um, we will make emergency repairs from time to time. Shapiro says obviously less funding means less work can be done to improve road conditions, but that the governor and the legislature have been working hard to come up with a dedicated revenue needed for the Transportation Trust Fund, and he's confident a solution will be in place before the start of the next fiscal year. Reporting in New Jersey, Catherine Clark, Fios One News.